Where's my knife? I forget my knife. Who knows? This'll work. This'll work. How you doing, YouTube? Look at this. A little bit of beer mail. I told you there was going to be more this week. And this one comes courtesy of Steven. Yes, Steven does not fuck around. The dude sends off all kinds of beer all the time. I think the last time he sent me a beer mail was... <coughs> burps. July. Two months, man. You waited a whole two months. I'm not going to forgive you. That's a joke. So, yeah. Um, who knows what's in here? He usually sends me all kinds of crazy stuff. There's mystery beers. There's this, that, and the other thing. I don't know. But we're going to dive it in a sucker and see what's what. Here we go. Uh, so, yeah. We'll see what's up. Oh, yo. Finally made it for one of the live unboxes. Steven's in the house. So, yeah. Digging on this. And then we actually have Tom Davis. Oh, hi, CT. In the hizzy. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, man. You're awesome. Matt Kresge. I'm, I was going to say I know I'm awesome, but... I'm not that pretentious, so we'll see what's what. I'm actually glad Steven's here for a live unboxing. This is going to be fun. We'll see what's what. One of these days, it's going to be filled with something other than beer. So we'll see what's what. Ah, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do any, like, impromptu, let's drink a beer straight out of the box thing, because this is probably warm-ish, because it got delivered probably about an hour or so ago. Um... Oh, look at this. All, all the New Englanders up here in the in the house tonight. Cody's up in here. Tom's up in here. Tom. Tom Davis. His new money dude, bro. That's what I, sh I shouldn't be calling Tom. Tom Davis. We agreed that I'm only supposed to use that other name for his stuff. So we'll see what's what. Um, and, like, I've been very kind of conscious about... Um, oh, God. A crate and barrel. <laughs> Um, I've been conscious about, like, uh, scribbling out, like, people's addresses so YouTube people don't see them. And, like, Steven has this, his, his, like, label right here. I, I marked it all out. But I'm like, oh, man, I'm like, uh, I'm like, I ripped the whole label. And there's a whole nother label underneath it that's, like, taped over. So I had to find some poopy. What are you, what are you doing here? Double layer stuff. Anyway, I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay. Fancy packaging. Fancy packaging. Oop water bottles. This is no fun. You guys can't see. So, let's do this. And that. And that. And that. Okay. First up. I gotta position this so I don't knock half of my shit over and that way you guys can see stuff. Okay. That'll work. Probably better. There we go. Uh, Buttonwoods Brewing. Never heard of these guys before. Uh, da -da -da -da. Before I go into it, let's go in the comments. As I'm waiting for Cloud9 to come back out of New Park. Yeah, a little bit of Cloud9, baby. Cody Cat insane. Sipping on some D Hop 25 from EQ. I've had some EQ in a while. I got some not too long ago, but I really need to dive back in some of their stuff. And Matt Kresge says, "Wow, now how to say the last name? Uh, name impressed. I am trying to break into microbrew sales for a New Jersey brewery. Do you know anybody hiring? Hmm. Now for your last name Kresge, I know a bunch of Kreskes, so I think that's why I kind of nailed that." And um, anybody hiring for sales, it's a hard time, brother, because it's, you know, COVID times. I'll look around now. S shoot me an email, matt at massabeers.com or massabeers at gmail.com. And uh, I'll see. I'll see if I'll, I'll, I'll peruse and see if anybody's looking. Also, right where you're from, because it really does. I know Kane was hiring um, for a bunch of stuff, so take that for what it's worth. But shoot me an email. Let me know where you live, too. Mystery beer. I like this silver can. This is like foam. It's not even like packaging tape or anything like that. Uh, you might see the light. That smells, I'm going to tell you right now, that smells like Treehouse right there. That's the kind of thing they'd put on one of their bottoms. Can't help myself but look at the bottom. I'm not going to look at any of the other bottoms. Um, yeah, this is weird. Psychopath taped mystery beers are my favorite kind of mystery beers. What do we have left? Actually, we didn't even talk about this here. This beer. This is a Corner Dilemma. Raw. Did you see that? It's a raw India Pale Ale. I don't know what that means. Raw India Pale Ale. Um, but sounds kind of fucking metal or something. I don't fucking know. So we'll see what's what. Um, Corner Dilemma. Raw India Pale Ale. These guys are out of... Buttonwoods Brewery is out of Rhode Island. Cranston, Rhode Island. So yeah. I dig the label. It's a little kind of barn thing. We'll see what's what. Um, so next up we have 
another button woods. Look at these guys. Clean cut, a little barber chair, India Palo. It's not a raw India Palo, mind you. It is an India Palo. Whole hops in that can. Okay, so that's what they mean. Instead of saying a wet hopped IPA, Tom Davis is saying whole hops in the can. Um, instead of saying wet hopped or whole hopped, they had to be cool about it. They had to write raw. Yeah. Anyway. Um, oh, man. This is the Buttonwoods Hour. Uh, truth to form. Uh, India Palo, 6.4%. Yeah, I'm not even gonna look on dates or bottoms of these because I don't want to spoil anything, but I'm assuming because Steven does what he does. They're gonna be fresh AF. Look at this. I like this. I love the bottled mystery beers. They turned me on, buddy. They turned me on. Another Lucy. Who's this? Long Live Brewing. Okay. I've had a few of their beers from... Uh, uh, oh, God. Max sent me some, I believe. There's another Tom, besides the other Tom that was in here, sent me some, I believe. Long Live Brew Works. I can't read stuff. This label's horrible. It's an 8% 4. It's a four and a half year anniversary 8% double IPA. There you go. So, you have to look up here and see if four and a half year anniversary, which, whatever, it's like Christmas in July, I guess. And you gotta look down here uh, where it says ABV, and then you got to look over here where it says double IPA. Yeah. Um, comments are coming hard and fast on this one. Yeah, I'll, I'll crack it open and they all fall out. Wah, wah. I apply for a position at Stoneface as a marketing coordinator. Stoneface, Stoneface, over the upstate New York, right? Is that what Stoneface is? Yeah, it's hard to crack into the beer game, man, sometimes. I tried to do it a long time ago, um, but yeah, it wasn't for me. I've been wanting to review one of these for quite some time. Big uh, Black Voodoo Daddy from uh, Voodoo Brewing out of Erie. Uh, it's 12% alcohol by volume. It's Imperial Stout. It says, uh, we at Voodoo have taken over two decades of Matt's brewing experience in our quirky personalities and wrapped them in the line of beers oriented around what we feel full of flavor. It's talking about their brewery. But yeah, I've always wanted to review this. Yeah. What year is this? I throw a year on it? Because I can see... Um, I could see Steve tossing out some old school shit jammers on me. Something with a little bit of time on it. Let me know what the data is on this, uh, on this, Steve. So we'll see what's what. Um, but yeah, I've always wanted to review this beer, so I'm kind of pumped to try that. Let's do a little double stacking over here. Make a little bit of room. There we go. We can actually quadruple stack on this. Let's see how that goes. Um, then we have, okay, clones of a loved one. Trying to get the lighting right on this. Yeah, new cameras. This is a barrel aged stout. Okay. Um, ten percent alcohol by volume. From Branch and Blade. Man, a lot of new brewery up in this place. Yeah. Um, ba -ba -ba. let's jump back into the comments real quick. Uh, we have Michael Sir Servid Servido. Yeah, he says, "Yo, what's going on, homie?" Um, and, um, yeah, this is actually a really cool fucking label. It reminds me of, like, if Prince... Doesn't it look like Prince? Right there? Doesn't it? That's Prince, right? I don't know. Clones of loved ones. Oh, you have loved ones. Kind of makes sense. Anyway, it says, I had a dream a while back that all of my friends and family had been cloned. It was, uh, my duty to sort through all of the humans and clones to decide who was real and who was an imposter. The imposters were banished into the human stayed... Um, it was wild. What if I made the wrong choice? What if you banish somebody? You better hope it's not a loved one. Burn Barrel Age Imperial Stout conditioned on Guatemalan cacao nibs in Nilla. In the Nilla, son. So, yeah, I actually did that label. It's a little pretentious. They're telling stories and stuff. But, um, I can get down with it. I'm gonna, one of these are gonna fall. And shit's gonna fly everywhere. So, I hope you guys enjoy that when it happens. Um, let's actually do this. Let's, uh, let's slide that over there and then slide that over there and there we go that works for me that works for me make myself a little bit of room boom there we go okay and then cody Catton says newington new hampshire by the coast probably ain't talking to somebody else i actually have beers i should be drinking a beer right now Let's see if i can grab a beer without breaking everything what do we got? Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Cream ale. Mm. 
just as Jesus intended. Three mil. Anyway. So let's see what we have going. Ooh, more mysteries. Little mystery right there. A little mystery bottle with this awesome kind of weird foam. It's like the kind of foam that you would use to insulate something weird. I don't know. So, yeah. Holy shit. Dude! You're never going to see these mystery beers, by the way. Because it's like, I already have like a ton in Q. Um, and, uh, yeah. Now I'm going to have a ton more in Q. Actually, let's move these bottles. Let's move these bottles up front. Make room for the, for the cans. So, yeah, I, I appreciate the mystery beers. That's my favorite thing to do, even though I suck at them. You know, says a lot of people. Uh, but, yeah, they, they, they're hard to post. i got to figure out a new pattern of posting them to where I get more up. Basically, I have to post more, is what I'm saying, instead of doing, doing shit just on, uh, oh, man, I'm going to break everything. Doing shit just on Mondays. So i gotta, I got to do, like, another mystery beer kind of thing. Um... Ooh, beard and six point brewery. Okay, a little collab action. Got a little bit of stave toasty. Um, this is an imperial stout with almonds, toasted coconut, vanilla, lactose, and cacao nibs or cocoa nibs. Sorry, it is cocoa. Uh, at, uh, nibs added, aged in maple syrup barrels. 8.9 percent. We're talking about pastry here, I think maybe. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll see what's what. Um, comments back to the comments. We'll see. Um, uh, Steven says definitely looks like Prince. As for the voodoo, I'll try and research it. It came across some new old stock last month. I think they're a year or two old. Yeah, I'll do the research too. I just didn't know if there was something you had sitting in your cellar for quite a bit. We'll see what's what. Um, Matt Kresge says, uh, Hey, Matt, you must be from PA. I'm in central New Jersey. Um, I did live in PA. Um, but I live in New Jersey now. Now, granted, I live in Hope, which is Warren County, which is about as PA as you can get without actually being in PA. Um, and I work in PA, and I grew up in PA. Even though I grew up in the Jersey Shore, I moved there when I was a kid, so or moved to PA when I was a kid. So right now I'm up in Warren County, New Jersey. So, yeah, there you go. As far as where I'm at, got a little fox farm up in this piece. Yeah, Alora, Citric, Citroen Mosaic India Pale Ale. I bet this is gonna suck. Yeah. Fucking Fox Farm. They're doing some. E I, you know. You know how the New England Patriots cheat all the time? Um, but they didn't get caught cheating for quite some time. So you just thought they were all like crazy, next level awesome, but you realize it was just a coach and a quarterback cheating all the time, and it kind of took lost the luster of like a, a like really honestly just besmirched and smeared both Belichick and Brady to the point where they really shouldn't be allowed in the Hall of Fame because they cheated so much that's kind of how I feel about Fox Farm like they're so good that I hope not one day there's some kind of like very very obvious and very legit scandal that besmirches them to the point where they're kind of like man I love that brewery they're just really good and there's nothing you could do about it yeah, but hopefully they're not cheaters like the Patriots. You know, you see how it is. You know, Tom Brady, 0 for 1. Um, yeah, we'll see what's what. Uh, who farted? Fitness break. I've never had this. Fitness freak. Sorry, never had this. Um, I am. I am very. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm very. Uh, hit or miss when it comes to who farted. And uh, it's a 14% imperial stat with coffee, vanilla, and maple syrup added. Yeah. Shit's about to get wild up in here. That costs $5.99, by the way. Just so you guys know. Uh, that's it. That's all he sent my way. God damn it, Steven. Your weak ass box of beer. That's pretty fucking awesome. So you have two mystery bottles, a voodoo, which I've wanted to do for such a long time, and just this beautiful three-tier system, not the shitty one. I keep looking up there at my screen. I should be looking there. Uh, look at that. This is fucking, this is beer. 
this beer in the most beautiful way possible. Love the mystery beers and the bottles and everything else about it. I mean, new brewery all over the place from this Buttonwood I've never heard before. We have, I forget the name of this brewery, new brewery stuff that makes me want to think of Prince. Mystery beers, Fox Farm, Fuck the World, a little bit of collab goodness. Old school jammers in a new school world. Life does not suck. Thank you very much, Steven. You crushed it, as usual. I am the luckiest guy of luckiest guys. Thank you very much, brother. Um, let's see. Back to the comments before we cut this short. Uh, we have Matt Kresge asking, Favorite beer to chill with on football Sundays? And this is honest. This is not me, like, trying to be, like, cool or funny or ironic. Shitty beer. I like shitty beer on football Sunday. You know, like, for me... Like, football Sunday for me is hanging out with my boys and eating wings and drinking and eating wings and gambling. Now, granted, my core group of friends, I, I'm, a, I'm a weird guy in that I'm the super young guy in the group of older people. So, like, I'm 45, 44 years old. All my friends were, like, in their late 50s, early 60s. Well, they are now. Um, and a couple have actually passed away over the past year or so, and uh, from just random stuff. Um, so I don't really hang out with my boys all that much to watch NFL football, but we would just meet. I would drink shit beer. I would drink Miller fucking uh, Miller High Life or fucking Labatt's, because my buddy loves Labatt's, so if I go to his house, we drink that. And we eat wings, eat fucking pizza. If I can do shots of LaRue, Blackberry, Brandy, and watch football, gamble. That's what Sundays for football for, were for me. I didn't really kind of tailor my kind of drinking around like fancy beer or good beer in the NFL. It was shit beer, hanging out with my friends. The beer was to facilitate the afternoon not to be the conversation. So it was more just an, ah, let's just drink shit beer and fucking watch football. But I will go to the next level and say, what would I want? If I had to drink really good beer, it'd either be se something sessionable, okay? Like give me like a, you know, a three and a half percent, like a Bissell baby genius. Uh, give me a six to all that so I could drink that all day. Or it would be give me two gigantic bourbon barrel aged barley wines and I would drink two 500 milliliter bottles over the course of eight hours. That would be my answer. Um, and Andrew Spee says, nice tea. You like that shit? A little bit of a on, on brand. Um, so just the funny thing about this, people are going to think I made this tea because for me. So I used to own this T-shirt 20 plus years ago. That is not a joke. <laughs> and um, I totally forgot about it. I totally forgot about it. And I was going through, like, I haven't worn it. I don't know why I still had it. I have not worn it. <sighs> Last time I wore this version of this t-shirt was probably, I was 26 maybe, so you're talking almost 20 years ago, 18 years ago, and um, we were, I was getting a bunch of clothes together to donate to like Goodwill and all that kind of stuff, so I was going a bunch of, through basically old t-shirts and jeans and all that stuff, and I came across this, but this is like I actually ordered a new one because the old one was just fucked. Um, and it was for a magazine called Massive Mag, uh, which was a Midwestern out of Milwaukee, actually. Milwaukee-based underground electronic music e-zine. That's not even e-zine, zine, like paper. Like zine, you know what I mean, from scene days. And um, and I saw it, and I go, oh, my God. Be like, I love this shirt. And, not only, and I didn't take my name from this. It's just random chance. Maybe, you know, subconsciously, uh, you know, I kind of thought about it. But, um... I was like, okay. I was like, I wonder if this place still exists. Do you know what I mean? And I'm like, they do. And they actually still sell the t-shirts. So I ordered two of them. <laughs> so I was, yeah, got my own massive t-shirts that I didn't even actually purchase or make or do any of that stuff. So there you go. And then we have uh, Cody chiming in at the end saying, need to get down to Fox Farm ASAP. You got to go, dude. I haven't been there, and I'm telling you, you gotta go it's because their beers, like they're be they're they're the best brewery on the planet as of right now. Uh, and that's I'm not saying that kind of off the cuff, like, huh? Let's just make a statement saying they're that fucking good. Nah, dude, like the, everything they do, and they do um, every time everything they do because they do, you know, 
a Schwarz beer and box and Pilsner and lager and fucking bottle table beer and hazies and everything is so good. It's just so good. It, I cannot wait to get up there. I cannot wait to get up there. And when I get up there, I'm going to be hanging with Steve. I'm going to be hanging with Max. I'm going to be hanging with all the boys from New England. Tom, all of us, we're going to get shitty. Like 5T shitty. It's going to be super fucking shitty. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be awesome. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much, Steve. I uh, chimed in, actually said, by the way, no worries on getting the mystery beers out faster. Just don't want you to run out like the beginning of this year. But here's the thing. I don't like people to eat in the mystery beers. So, um, and that's the thing. It's not like it's taking me a while to get through the mystery beers. I drink them. They just sit in queue. But I have, I, I want to devise some kind of math. I'm going to ask, like, some kind of mathematician on how to kind of base off of the amount of mystery beers I have how many should I post based off of how many I receive like find somebody to do some um, some kind of like math it's not even math at this point it's two F's math M-A-F-F math to, because I don't want people to wait because well you don't care there's a lot of people that send me mystery beers and I'm like I feel bad because I'm like it's going to take like two months for you to see the mystery beer so I've been trying to pepper like going, I'm instead of running chronological order in a mystery beers, I've been trying to be like, okay, post one from old, post one that's semi new, and that's why I reposted an old one the other day because I forget which ones I've posted. So I'll figure it out. They'll go up. I'll, I might do a couple Mondays like I did the other day. I did um, two Mondays, two or three Mondays ago. I did, uh, I did uh, seven mystery beers in seven hours. So for every hour, I put a mystery beer up, and I put a very small dent in the amount of mystery beers I have. So and uh, before. We get too wild up in here. Uh, Steven saying, or Anthony saying, next time I see them release Double Burst, I'll have to take a ride. Yeah, you and me both, brother. Um, Steven Lyon actually says, postcode Fox Farm Hang. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, it's happening. Um, I can't wait to get up there. It's like my number one brewery I need to go to post-COVID. But so in a couple, in like five or six years, we'll definitely hang out. And, uh, and Anthony Scalise, Scalise said, about a year ago, uh, probably, but still... Remember you saying Double Burst may be your favorite IP all time, which is saying something. Is that good, dude? And batches change. You know what I mean? Like, one of my favorite uh, IPAs of all time was the Gewurzt Miner Double IPA, the dialed in from um, Trillium. And I had their latest version of it about a month and a half, two months ago, and it was hot garbage. So, shit can change. Except for Fox Farm, because their shit's always awesome. So, there you go. What do we got? We're at a, we're at 20, 23 minutes on an unboxing here. So I'm going to take off um, and just say thank you very much, Stephen, for sending this off. Super cool package. I appreciate it to the nth degree. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little unboxing. Hopefully you enjoy me running through all these crazy-ass motherfucking beers. Hopefully you, you give Stephen a little bit of digital applause for being so, so generous. And, uh, yeah, hope we'll see you next time. Live stream sometime this week.